Hello and welcome to the Walking Oculus Quest Rift and Go package for Unity in which you will be able to walk in a virtual reality by moving your feet in the real space that is going to be translated into the virtual space. So to achieve that we have a script that you can see here that is called the pedal, the pedal from pedometer. And in fact what it contains is different references to the gestures manager. The gesture manager is just going to search for the movement of your hands and compare if it's going to be one of these positions. So you have the option of plugging your nose, plug the ears or rubbing your eyes. So those three gestures are also managed by that script here. Then we have different types of input. So you have the thumbstick or the controller position. That means that if you select the thumbstick, you will be able to move as in the test APK that we have uploaded into the Unity Asset Store. You will be able to move your thumbstick up and down and move your player whenever you move your feet in the real world. If you select the controller position, you will have to move the controller into these two boxes, which represent like a standing arm or a bending arm. Then you have type of movement. You have the acceleration that will use the acceleration of the headset or the inclination of your head to the left or to the right. So you have those two options too. This is just for selecting the different buttons you want to use for the movement. In this case, they are the thumbstick down and up to move down, to move forward or to move backwards. Then um, the most important thing is this part here that is filtering that is used for achieving the movement thanks to the um, evolution of the accelerometer value. And these values here are the ones that we have um, obtained by testing and uh, doing some experimental tests on the device. So we um, recommend no, not to change them uh, except for the, um, the speed factor here that you can change it or better yet you can change the um, two values for the movement forward and the movement backwards that are here. They are the selected speeds. So these are the two speeds that are used in order to calculate the movement at the fixed update. Then for the head inclination, you have the inclination angle that will be the same for the left and for the right. And these two boxes will check whenever the head is inclined to the left or to the right. Then we have some reference to the player controller character controller and then to the head. Then we have the gravity and this speed factor is going to be public, but in fact is going to be calculated from the forward and backward speed. Finally, um, the event calls are just the functions that are going to be called after an event happens. So for example, whenever we have the, um, the nose or the eyes or the ears events, the ones that I have shown you in this file here, uh, are these ones here, different functions are going to be called. So in fact, they are in the test events function. So you, you can go ahead and check this out. For example, if you want to trigger an action with the nodes, you just have to change this or to add some code in these lines. So I think it's quite simple, quite clear. I hope you uh, test it before buying and consider downloading it. Uh, another important point is that uh, in the test um, file, we haven't used exactly these uh, three scenes that are included. We have used one external scene that is, is more attractive for you in order to test in a real environment. If you want to uh, add it to your project, it's called the City Park. That is a quite uh, interesting asset that is in the asset store. Um, and um, thanks for watching this video.